Are you drowning in work but never seem to get on top of your game? No matter how hard you work, you never get everything done, right? I've totally been there and I know how frustrating it can be. Luckily, there's a way out there. What's up? My name is Caroline of habitsinprogress.com and in this video, I'll share seven tips with you that will help you increase your efficiency and productivity at work. This video is actually the second part of a two-part series. If you haven't watched the first video yet, I'll highly recommend doing that now. It's linked on the screen somewhere. Because in the first video, I'm going over the four most common reasons why you're even so inefficient and unproductive at work. All right, let's dive in. Number one, work in blocks. As mentioned in my last video, deep work is what will move you, move you forward. I'm currently reading Cal Newport's deep work book. So this is where I get this expression from. And I think he makes an impeccable job at explaining that. And so he says, in order to move forward in today's economy, you need to be able to learn hard things at a fast pace. And in order to do that, you need to have blocks in your day to perform deep work. Now that doesn't only count for learning hard things, but it's actually the same for your everyday job. If you want to get as much work done in as little time as possible, this is what you need. So the best way to actually start working in blocks is to use calendar blocking. This is a very simple concept where you just add blocks in your calendar in different colors so you can have a great overview of what's going on. And working in blocks also allows you to batch similar tasks together. So you have to do as little switches as possible. You can stay in the same mental zone. And instead of do getting one task done and then switching around to something completely different, you would get, let's say, three or four of the same or similar tasks done in one chunk. Number two, have at least one high focus block in your day. So again, deep work is the most important thing that you can do for your productivity and for efficiency increase at work. And to do that, you need to have one, what I call high focus block per day. This is a block of however long you can make it. Ideally, it's over an hour. So one to three hours, something like that is ideal. And this is a block where you allow yourself to work without interruption on one or several similar, similar specific tasks. So no email, no calls, no colleagues interrupting you, no web surfing, nothing like that. The best way to go about that is to first find out when your high focus times are during the day. For most people, that's first thing in the morning because this is when our brain is the freshest and where we have the most energy and the most capacity to make good decisions. For me personally, it's one block in the morning and then I have another one in the late afternoon, but you have to test that for yourself. Try to perform deep work on different hours during the day and figure out what works best for you. Number three. Have several low focus blocks in your day. Okay, so by now you should have added at least one high focus block in your calendar. Now it's time to add a few low focus blocks as well. You will likely have a bunch of tasks that don't need a whole lot of focus, but would take a lot of time if they were scattered throughout your day. The prime example here again is email. I've mentioned that in my last video last week because this is a prime source of distraction these days. So if you receive like, let's say 50 to 100 emails per day and you would reply to each single email whenever it comes up, you would be very scattered and you'd be jumping around a lot. However, you can increase your work efficiency a lot if you also batch those low focus tasks together as well. Cal Newport calls them shallow work. So this means these are tasks that don't require a whole lot of mental energy, but that need to get done anyway. So for instance, for email, what I like to recommend is to have at least one, or maybe you can have several email checking blocks in your day. And that means you will block up 30 minutes, for instance, after your first high focus block, and during those 30 minutes, you just check your emails and you reply to the quick ones that take less than three minutes. And then you decide when you're gonna deal with the longer ones that need a longer reply. And once those, those 30 minutes are up, you'll go on to the next block. Just having those 30 minutes and working on one specific thing, meaning checking emails, will allow you to get through a high volume of email in one chunk instead of jumping around from a high focus task to a low focus task like checking email. Number four, plan in several break blocks per day. 
As mentioned in my last video, making breaks no priority is one of the main reasons for inefficiency and unproductiveness at work. So now let's change that and the best way to do that is to schedule them in so you add them as blocks in your calendar and actually make them a priority. Ideally you would have at least one block of one to three hours where you are off work where you can go outside and do something else. This is the best way to be able to jump back into another high focus block with a fresh mind. So ideally you have one longer block of at least one hour and then also schedule in two or four blocks, something like that, of 15 to 30 minutes that again allow you to do something else, something that doesn't require mental energy and that is fun. And this will give you more energy and motivation to jump back into your work. Number five, get rid of distractions. All right, now it's time to get rid of those evil distractions that want to take away your attention from being focused. The first and most important thing for me personally to do that I highly recommend is to put your phone away while you're working. So whenever I'm working, my phone is in my bedroom, it's muted, so I don't get any notifications, I don't get distracted by it at all. And this has been a huge game changer for me. Simply that fact of having my phone out of reach has probably increased my productivity by at least two to three times. So this is the first thing to do. Other than that, get rid of any notifications popping up on your computer, close your email program for your high focus blocks, or at least turn off the notifications so it doesn't pop up every two minutes. Number six, write your to-do list the night before. This has been another huge game changer for me. Studies have shown that you can only make a certain amount of good decisions per day. Now, unfortunately, we need to make decisions for a lot of things that are not very relevant during every day. So that includes things like choosing what to wear, choosing what to eat, choosing when to walk your dog, all of those kind of small things that require decisions and will take away from your decision bank. So ideally, you put your irrelevant, your not very important decisions in the evening, things that don't require a lot of focus, so that you have more capacity to make good decisions in the morning. Now, writing your to-do list for the next day doesn't really require a lot of mental energy, it's just something that needs to get done. So this is something for a low energy decision that makes most sense to do in the evening, plus the other benefit is that you'll be ready to jump in first thing in the morning and you don't first have to figure out, oh my god, what am I gonna work on today? And number seven, determine one top priority per day. Knowing your priorities or what you need to work on first is very important. If you struggle to do that, then I highly recommend first setting your goals. I'm linking another video on the screen that will help you do that. And if you have very clear goals, it will be very easy to see your priorities because your priorities are the kind of tasks that will get you to your goals the fastest. Maybe you have several things that are really urgent and that really need to get done the next day, that's fine. Just order them according to their priority level and make sure to always have at least one top priority and then move down from there. Once you've got your top priority, make sure to also prioritize it. So that means you should work on your top priority in your first fo high focus block in the day. All right, so there you have it. These are my seven tips that will help you increase efficiency and productivity at work. As you can see, they're not very complicated. These are all, all actually simple tips, but you just need to get started actually doing them. If you haven't already, watch the first video if the, of this series as well, so that you have a better understanding of where that inefficiency at work is actually coming from. If you like this video, hit the like button down below, share with your friends, and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.